Hello, so here at uh, Zurich Airport and we're going to be taking Air Malta down to Valletta. Uh, so never been on Air Malta and we're in business class and I think we're in the front seat in 1A. So come along with me, let's see how it is. Hello. Good afternoon. It's uh, Air Malta, we're in the front row. Very smart. Tonight we have a cold platter. Meat or something. Choice bread rolls, cake, some salad sauce. Mm. But what I really like are these little bowls. And looking on the back of it, it's uh, dough and co. So I wonder if they cater for and Malta. Hmm. But I do like the bowls. Here we are, Air Malta, we're on our way. We've got probably about an hour to go. We're just going down the side of Italy and it is gorgeous looking at the, the moon, which is straight out of the window, the light off the water and the lights of Italy as we head down to Malta. Absolutely beautiful. Um, so far so good. We've had uh, food, which is nice, it was a cold platter really tasty food some of the stuff i don't eat but who eats salmon i don't know why would you eat salmon if you do uh moved off the prosecco onto the beer so having a couple of beers now on chesk which is malty's own beer i've had it before in very different quantities but yeah it's a it's a decent enough beer I quite like so we should be into Valletta in about an hour but I've got a feeling we're going to be ahead of schedule tonight which would be nice um, but yeah uh, I'm enjoying I mean I, I am enjoying Air Malta Air Malta business class good what more can you say in the first row you do get a window that goes into a galley yeah, moving map as well so you can see everything that goes on and the cabin crew sit pretty much there so you face to face with them 1A is alright 1F is better <coughs> but on the way down 1A has the view I was really enjoying Air Malta up until we saw Sicily came over Sicily uh, and as soon as we hit Sicily they put the seatbelt signs on and getting the cabin ready for landing which is like half an hour before we're going to land I think it's probably for them it's the last flight of the day they can't be bothered they just want to get wrapped up get ready get off the plane and go that's not good for me leave the cabin open I mean now I know he's got a loop but I've got to wait until I land because the seatbelt signs are on and everything is wrapped away. And I know Sicily when I see it. I didn't see Mount Etna, but I know Sicily. And that's, that's still a fair old trek from Malta. I mean, we are going down. And Malta's just coming into view now, so we'll be landing in a minute. But it's over 20 minutes, nearly half an hour with the seatbelt signs on. It's not brilliant. So, Air Malta, if you're watching this, have a word you know give it 10 minutes yeah 10 minutes is fine get past this leak put the seatbelt signs on anyway Malta's below let's go and land and uh, feel the warmth <laughs> it was cold in Zurich
So here we are, made it to Malta. Um, it's dark outside. It was a pretty good flight. Uh, good food, plenty of drinks and things like that. The only problem was when they took, put the seatbelt signs on about half an hour before we landed. I think that's a little bit excessive. But other than that, Air Malta isn't too bad. Isn't too bad. I think I'd rather have BA than Air Malta. That's my decision. That's my view. You might have a different view. If you do, let me know what you think in the comments. Anyway, that's it. Time to head off, find a hotel for the night. Um, so thank you very much for coming along. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon.